prostate that's kind of a... Prostate cancer starts in the prostate gland, a small walnut-sized structure that makes up part of a man's reproductive system. St. Luke's Clinic urologist Dr. Corey Bates says prostate cancer is very common. More or less, you have a risk of having prostate cancer based on your age. So if you're 50 years old, there's a 50% chance you have it. If you're 90 years old, there's a 90% chance you have it. But that's talking about a microscopic little spot. And so as urologists, we try to figure out who has prostate cancer that actually matters. Most men will experience an enlarged prostate as they age. To screen for cancer, a blood test for prostate-specific antigen, or PSA, and a physical exam of the prostate by a physician are needed, as well as a biopsy if cancer is suspected. For non-aggressive prostate cancer, Dr. Bates says a line of treatment to consider is no treatment. And that's watching it and saying, you know, we're going to you know, do something called active surveillance, which is saying, you know, we'll take that information, put it in our back pocket, know about it, kind of watch things over time, make sure it's not getting aggressive, but we're not going to jump into radical surgery or radiation or things like that. Annual or every other year screening is recommended for those with a family history of prostate cancer starting at age 40 and at age 50 for all other men. If you have a patient that's educated, understands what's going on, and you have a physician that can use information and interpret it correctly, I think you can do a lot of good with the PSA test. This informed decision making will help the patient understand the risk and benefits of treatment and how to make a decision consistent with his preferences and values. I'm Kevin Ryan reporting for St. Luke's Health System.